Hey guys, this is Inkpen from Blueberry Yummy Productions, and I'm participating in MTG Xerxes tournament. Is so it's me versus A Tater H, and um, grab yourself a box of popcorn or something because this is a long match. So there's no stab, and it's only bad items, so no choice scarf or anything. And I have to switch out immediately because he has Roserade. I chose Psychic Fighting, by the way, and. Um, he goes to Muck, and I didn't really want to stand for whatever that Muck was going to do. I assumed EQ, but he switches out too, which is curious. So, whatever. I go to my Toxicroak, and he taunts, so I can't Sword Stance now. Uh, my Toxicroak does have Ice Punch, and so I'm able to use that here in a second. He uses uh, Heat Wave, and, I, and that misses only because I avoid it, so that's pretty good luck for me, I guess. I don't know how av avoidance works like that, but whatever. I guess he also assumed I had Dry Skin, but I don't. I have Anticipation purely because I know people like to use Fire Moves against him, so... Go to Mike Tyson, he uses Heat Wave, I predicted that, and so his special uh, defense on uh, on Hitmonchan is pretty high, so that's what I went to him for that. And he roosts, I predicted he would roost or taunt or something, so I just went with Ice Punch and I get some good damage off now. And um, now he withdraws as I, I believe I went for another Ice Punch, in comes a Quagsire. No, I went for Agility this time, that's right, because I predicted that maybe he would switch out or roost again just because he figured whatever. But um... I decide not to stand because I don't really have anything. All he has is Fire Punch, Thunder Punch, and Ice Punch. And I go to Cresselia, and it takes a nice Body Slam. And I'm able to get a Calm Mind in as he switches to Crobat. So now he uses Toxic, and it misses, and that's pretty cool for me because I assume Taunt instead, and I get a Shadow Ball off. And I don't want to take a Toxic, but I assume, hey, if anyone's going to take a Toxic, it's got to be this one because uh, Cresselia has Moonlight, so it can heal itself, whereas everyone else on my team... Just uh, they have Swords Dance or Agility or anything except for Zam, who has um, super high special attack and you know speed. So he roosts up now, and I thought he would. I figured that he would just roost stall me now, and that's basically what happens here. I'm able to get another Calm Mind, but then after this he taunts, and then uh, I get I just use Shadow Ball over and over, and um, turns into kind of a roost Shadow Ball fest. So as you saw there, I got my citrus berry, and now I'm hurt by poison, and now I know that I can't really stand much longer. If I do, then I'm just going to die, because he's going to roost right now. <clears throat> so I go to Mike Tyson, my Hitmonchan, and I decide, okay, now I can get an agility, and I can ice punch and all kinds of stuff, but maybe he'll taunt. So on the off chance that he taunted, I think I just went with ice punch, which I do, and in comes the Quagsire, and it takes it, uh, it's just one time, because it's water and ground, so ground is weak and water is half, so there you go. Uh, he uses Toxic. I didn't know he had Toxic. I just, you know, that's just whatever how it worked out. And I get down to 83 hit points, and my Cresselia, I brought my Cresselia in specifically so I could Moonlight, and I really didn't care what came in. I just wanted to keep this thing alive, because I knew that the only legitimate chance that I had at killing the Crobat, since the punches weren't doing much, is to just use this thing and try and stall it out. I also thought Quagsire, like, the only thing that I can do is either to use, like, have Cresselia die as Death Fodder, and then switch to Alakazam with the Energy Ball, because that's four times effective. Um, grass is four times is super effective against water and super effective against ground, and so it comes out to four times. So I knew that that was basically my only option. That's why I did that. And now I go to my Gardevoir. I assume that he would curse again, which he does. And now I'm thinking, okay, since the speed is negative two, no matter what, I don't even need to know his base speed, I'm probably faster. So I Destiny Bond, and he Paybacks, and I didn't know if he would Payback or Earthquake, I didn't know what he wanted to do, but he Paybacks, and that's super effective. Even, he even gets a crit on the hit, which is kind of funny. And uh, the Desti Destiny Bond works, and that thing dies, and that's pretty cool, because the only thing that I had to take Muck out was Earthquake on Toxicroak. 
and honestly, like Gardevoir, I, I put it, I put Destiny Bond on it specifically so I can take out uh, a single Pokemon on the opposite team that is a huge threat, just so I can get rid of it. So now I go to my Zam because it's safe to switch that in, and in comes the Roserade. I predicted he would switch because that's what he did last time, so I didn't switch. I went with Shadow Ball. I thought that the Crobat might come in. I thought maybe I could kill it with Shadow Ball or something, and it gets down to about half health. And I might have stayed in if uh, you know it would have been a, a little bit more, but I knew it wouldn't have been a hit, two hit KO, so it didn't matter. Um, it goes with Taunt again. I I did Sword Stance again. The reason for that is because I predicted that he would think that I would do Sword Stance again, so he would do something else. So I would do the same thing to counteract that, but he said that um, he wasn't thinking that way and whatever. So brings in the Quagsire, I go to Crest, he goes back to Crobat, whoop de doo I get a free calm mind. So now I'm thinking about what I want to do, and I believe I just go with Shadow Ball right off the bat because I don't really know what, exactly what I want to do. I know he's going to taunt, and that's what he does. And so, I, Oh no, I went with Calm Mind again, just in case he wanted to use Heat Wave. That's right. And um, and then this time, like I was like, okay, well, whatever. It's just, you know, it is what it is. I should have gone with Shadow Ball, though, because I could have gotten some good damage off, but I don't know. Whatever. It's just me not really thinking about the game. So, Shadow Ball goes, and uh, it does about a quarter health, and that's pretty bad, because last time I had two Calm Minds that did half health, I think. So, it's kind of curious as to what I want to do. Um, maybe I had three combines earlier. I don't know. Predicted the heat wave because I think that he predicted that I would switch. And I go to my anger management and it takes that. And he taunts. I did not think about the taunt. And I don't know. That taunt just screwed me up the whole game. I just never ever thought that he would use it. I don't, I don't really know what I was thinking. But whatever. I go with Thunder Punch just because I know I can't get agility off now. And um, he toxics me. Not a big deal. So, now I'm thinking about what to do. He gets paralyzed, which is awesome for me. Because with that, because he's paralyzed, now I'm faster, and now I can kill him with a Thunder Punch, or if he switches out, then later on, whatever comes in is going to be faster. Like, Zam could kill it with that much health and stuff. So, it was, it was just death fodder there. I mean, he maybe he should have switched out and used it for later, but whatever, it was okay how it worked out. And um, my taunt wears off now, so I could get an agility up, and I believe that's what I do. I try I click agility, but he uses hidden power. Now here I'm thinking, okay, well that's a pretty good move. It's probably hidden power, you know, water because it's super effective against fire, which is super effective against grass. Now I should have really thought about what that hidden power was, because at first I thought it was water, and then here now I think it's ground because it's super effective against toxic croak, and then later on I realize, oh wait, it's flying. So it really screws up my team and um, super effective against all my fighting guys. So that's really bad. And um, I should have really thought about it because it's poison ground and ground is weak to grass and uh, poison is super effective against grass so wouldn't you want to have something else just to counteract grass? I don't know. It's also like he had two guys that were four times weak to grass so it would be excellent to have flying to take that stuff out. So very good choice on his part and now I'm able to use agility and um, I'm able to just get the fire punch off and I kill the thing and that's pretty good. The... Um, Amazingly, the hidden power flying did not kill my Mike Tyson, and that would have that was major because uh, had that happened, it would have been um, would have been much closer. So in comes his Blobby, and I don't want to stick around for that, so I go to my Cresselia, use it basically as death fodder, and um, poison. And I I did use Moonlight here, I think, just to kind of breathe some life into it, maybe. Um, but mainly, I went to his death fodder. Um, just happened to work out that I got, you know, some health back, and, uh, now this basically turns into, okay, I, you know, toxic, or, like, poison hurts me, and I use Moonlight again, and he gets a crunch off, which you'll see in a second, and, uh, then I just use Shadow Ball, I think, once, and I get a critical hit, and then he, you know, uses crunch again, and he's able to kill me, and then I go to my Hitmonchan, because that thing can take a hit, and, uh, my Alakazam really can't, I wasn't really worried about crunch, but you'll see in a second that he uses quick attack, and I was like, ooh, bitch, uh, my Zam is gonna be, it's gonna be tough, if it can take that, I don't know if it can, so, yeah. So there goes the quick attack, and now I die, and I'm like, oh man, you have quick attack? I'm glad I learned that, like, right now, because then I, I was about to go to Zam, because uh, that thing's ground and grass is super effective against it, but I didn't there just because the quick attack. So Mike Tyson comes in, he uses an ice punch, 
and here I risk it and go with uh, Alakazam, and he uses Body Slam, and I thought I was absolutely dead, but amazingly, he takes a goddamn hit and is able to get the energy ball off, and that's the attack I was looking for all game, and I'm able to kill that thing, and that's fucking awesome. A critical hit, too, but I probably would have killed it anyway. I mean, Zam, like, I think I think this one's modest and friggin' huge amounts of special attack with all that stuff. There's the quick attack that I was worried about. I incredibly, I don't die from that either. And I get an ACOT berry. Not that that really matters. I just didn't even know what to put on these. a lot of these guys, so I just put on, like, random berries on most of them. So I use Energy Ball, and it's super effective, and I'm able to kill that Trap Inch, and now I'm like, oh god, what is your last guy? Please don't be something that's, like, fucking awesome. Blobby 2 comes out, and it's a Gastrodon, Gastrodon I think, and I use Energy Ball. It's four times effective, because that thing's grass, or, um, water, or ground as well. And it's going down, 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 and it doesn't die, and I'm like, oh man, how am I going to kill this thing now? All I have left to really kill it is an Ice Punch on, um, uh, on the, uh, Hitmonchan, but incredibly... Alakazam takes an Ice Beam, lives with 7 HP, and I'm able to get the other Energy Ball off, and that thing dies, and there it goes. So, thank you guys for watching, and uh, I probably won't be posting a video for a couple weeks or so, because I got some stuff that's going on, but I'll keep you guys updated on the tournament, all that good stuff, and uh, catch you guys later. Peace.